उज़बिल्लिमिनशैतवानजीम बसमीम आज जो पावर प्लांट हम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं वो है डीज़ल इंजन पावर प्लांट और इस डीज़ल इंजन पावर प्लांट से पहले हम बेसिकली रैंकाइन साइकिल और स्टीम पावर प्लांट्स उसके अलावा फिर ब्रटन साइकिल के बेस के ऊपर गैस पावर प्लांट्स हम पढ़ चुके हैं को जनरेशन पावर प्लांट्स जिसमें बाइनरी पावर प्लांट्स बाइनरी वेपर पावर प्लांट्स भी हम उसमें देख चुके हैं अब हम पढ़ेंगे थोड़ा सा डीजल इंजन पावर प्लांट्स नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इन दिस पावर प्लांट सो डीजल इंजन इज यूज टू ड्राइव द अल्टरनेटर टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिक पावर सो व्हाट हैपेंस बेसिकली व्हाट इज द बेसिक कंसेप्ट और द बेसिक आइडिया दैट देर इज अ इनपुट इफ दिस इज अ जनरेटर और आई वुड से द डीजल इंजन प्लांट और इट इज़ अ डीजल इंजन सो इफ दिस इज डीजल इंजन सो वट वी द इनपुट इज बेसिकली देर इज एन इनपुट एंड देर इज एन आउटपुट सो हमारे पास जो डीजल इंजन का इनपुट होता है उस पर हमारे पास केमिकल एनर्जी इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ डीजल होती है केमिकल एनर्जी इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ डीजल होती है और फिर वो केमिकल एनर्जी कन्वर्ट होती है आउटपुट पे मैकेनिकल एनर्जी में मैकेनिकल एनर्जी में और मैकेनिकल एनर्जी फर्दर इस अल्टरनेटर को ये जो अल्टरनेटर है इसको रोटेट करती है और यहाँ पे हमारे पास जो है वो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर जनरेट होता है इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर हमारे पास जनरेट होती है so what is the basic idea the basic idea is that the diesel engines basically convert the electric uh, the chemical energy into the electrical energy via mechanical work now how these uh, where we use these diesel engine power plants so first of all when the capacity is small from 2 to 50 megawatts we use these uh, diesel engine power plants these are on a smaller scale and they are mostly used it is very important to know that they are not used to generate electricity continuously but they are actually used uh, for a secondary purpose or i would say for a backup or a standby they are at a standby standby uh, why they are at a standby so in order to meet the load fluctuation demand or if there is any kind of a uh, tripping or there is any kind of uh, maintenance going on or if there is any kind of a fault so during that time to meet the load demand uh, diesel engine power plants are used uh, uh, again they are not the primary source because they are expensive the electricity or per unit uh, uh, charge or i would say the per unit uh, cost of this uh, plant is very high so that is why and secondly sometimes there is no maintenance there is no um, uh, fluctuation what happens that there is a high demand suddenly during a particular season or due to some some emergency or any uh, happening the consumption increases then we use uh, the diesel engine power plants along with the primary power plants which includes the uh, the hydro power plants which includes the uh, rankine cycle power plants and so on and so forth so they are at a standby or they are used as a backup uh, power plants uh, now what since they are diesel uh, engine power plants so they are based on diesel cycle and you are well aware of that because you have studied this in your course which is the ic engine ic engine internal combustion engine course you have studied the diesel uh, cycle in which from 1 to 2 the process is isentropic compression here is isentropic compression and from 2 to 3 basically the isobaric heat addition from 3 to 4 we have isentropic expansion and from 4 to 1 then we have the constant volume uh, heat rejection so you know that the diesel engine uh, or the diesel cycle is based on a constant pressure and a constant volume processes uh, basically the heat addition is at a constant pressure and the heat rejection is at a constant volume and the expansion from 1 to 2 Uh, the compression and expansions are basically at uh, uh, isentropic processes so you are very well aware of the diesel cycle and this is the brief uh, brief of the 
diesel cycle that how the process is takes place it is just a reminder for you guys now how this layout or there is a journal layout of the diesel engine power plant so for that we have to look at this picture now this is basically the journal layout okay ji so this is the journal layout of the diesel engine power plant so these are some of the components which we are going to discuss in a while so first of all you would see that there is a main component which is the diesel engine and then there is a generator which actually generates the electricity so so far we know that diesel engine which rotates uh, which actually converts the diesel in, uh, energy into the mechanical work and the mechanical work then uh, converts this uh, uh, rotates this alternator and produce the electricity so how the process takes place so as we have explained the diesel engine worked on the comp as we know that the diesel engine worked on the compressed air uh, air fuel mixture is actually uh, air is actually uh, the compressed air is actually sprayed uh, into this uh, uh, mixture uh, of the fuel the diesel and the spray and uh, you know that how the diesel engine works the whole cycle i am not going to explain that cycle over here uh, but just to show you that there is a compressor and the air is actually being compressed and that air then passes through the filter all these signs which are showing over here these are the filters so the 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 compressed air basically moves through the filter and then enters into the uh diesel engine from here it enters into the diesel engine so this is a compressed air so the air after passing through a compressor and the filter actually enters into the diesel engine then the diesel engine what basically the diesel engine do it rotates and converts that energy into the mechanical energy and the mechanical energy then is converted into the electrical energy as shown uh through the generator uh, or the alternator you would say okay ji so after that what happens that there are since we have, there are different systems so main components the one is ic engine and the other is the air intake system so this is the air intake system how the air intake system works we are going to discuss that uh inshallah in the next lecture all these systems will be discussed in the next lecture inshallah then there is a fuel system that how the fuel works so there are fuel tanks this is fuel tank fuel tank so there are, there are fuel tanks again the fuel is basically pumped from passing through this filter through this pump this is pump this is the fuel pump so after passing through the fuel pump the fuel is actually sucked and pumped into the uh fuel injector fuel injector and then there is a fuel spray and then there is a compressed air and then the burning process takes place and that is how the diesel engine works so the fuel comes from the fuel tanks and the compressed air from the compressors and uh, then there is a this is exhaust basically this is exhaust chimney or you would say sil uh, silencer exhaust silencer so this is the exhaust silencer and the exhaust actually move out through this silencer similarly then there is an other system and that is basically the lubrication oil system as you have you can see there is a lubrication system as well so there is a there is a lubricating oil lubricating oil again the lubricating oil is pumped through to the filter and then it passes into the diesel engine lubricating different components uh, the of the engine and uh, remove the uh, the the basically the lubricate uh, the 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 frictional uh, heat removing the frictional heat and removing the the particles removing the uh, the the, uh, the any kind of remains of the wear if there is any and keep uh, the engine life extended then the there is another system of the cooling so 
uh, there is actually a cooling system there is a condenser condenser so there is a condenser in which the this basically there are actually the the whole system and this is oil condenser so the oil when heats over here it passes from here the oil when enters over here it takes out the heat and the heat is then rejected from this oil condenser and then gets back to the tank so this is how this process work it's very easy to understand the oil is pumped into the engine the, it takes heat from the engine and then passes through the filter because it takes some of the particles as well from the engine and then over here the cooling process takes place and then the lubricating oil is cooled and the heat is rejected out and again that uh, join over here so that the lubricating oil loss is very uh, minimal during these uh, in these engines then there is a cooling tower or there is a cooling water so the cooling water comes in cooling water so there is a cooling system as well as you can see on a number six so there is cooling water comes in and it passes through the pump through this condenser and then again so this is how this uh, heat is rejected from the uh, oil and again there is a uh, when the cooling water comes in it is pumped the cooling water gets heat and if it gets heat so it actually becomes the uh, in a in a vapor mixture state and then again the cooling process takes place from the cold water coming in and that is how this cooling water takes place because that is in a closed loop so that is how the diesel engine power plant work where there are major seven systems ic engine internal combustion engine so first we have the internal combustion engine second then we have air intake system second then we have fuel system then we have engine starting system which is actually a starter or a battery system or a or, or a or a switch and then there is exhaust system over here like a silencer uh, we use silencer then there is cooling system and the cooling system is right over here and then there is the lubricating system so these are the different systems which are used in the diesel power plant and this is the journal layout of the diesel power plant uh, again let me give you a, re a review of this that there are actually six or seven systems working simultaneously uh, in a diesel power plant uh, in a in, in a in a stepwise process and a loopwise process they are all controlled basically so there are there is an air 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 intake system there is a fuel injection system there is an ic engine then there is a exhaust system obviously there is a generator then there is a cooling system and there there is a lubricating system and these all systems are very much important for uh, uh, for for uh, for running a diesel power plant so for today this is a, this was a short and a brief lecture on the, uh, or introduction of a diesel uh, power plant why we use diesel power plant so this is basically used for a backup purpose for a for a standby purpose in case of emergency in case of any uh, load fluctuation uh, similarly why we do not use uh, diesel power plants as primary source so the main reason is that uh, they are expensive the cost per unit cost uh, generation cost is very expensive so uh, it's 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 not actually worthy to use it has a primary source uh, and for a backup we need because uh, sometimes if there is maintenance or there is any kind of issue so we have we need to continue the operations and we have to supply uh, energy electrical energy basically to the communities especially uh, uh, to the emergency services uh, for that we use diesel engine power plants now where uh, where would be the best location for a diesel engine power plant so generally speaking we will discuss that in the next lecture inshallah but generally speaking the diesel engine power plant should be uh, close to the primary location should be close to the primary power plant uh, so that in case of emergency the load can be shift to the uh, diesel power plant from the primary source uh, secondly it should be um, uh, close to the area where uh, the 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 fuel is easily available where the fuel is uh, uh is 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 not short or uh, the supply or the demand fluctuations can be meet easily 
so these are some of the points we will discuss that in the coming lectures inshallah and uh, we will also discuss the main components of these uh, uh, diesel power plants in a bit detail and uh, further we will discuss inshallah the renewable energy power plants uh, including nuclear energy power plants the solar energy power plants the uh, hydro power, power power plants and uh, the wind energy uh, tidal energy and some of the other energy resources which are the alternate energy resources so this is how we we are going step wise first we used the uh, rankine cycle uh, the air the, the the different kind of boilers how we can actually heat because we need heat uh, for the uh, for the burning of the fuel or we need that the things to be to be understand that how we can actually produce steam how the steam is produced and uh, so on and so forth we discuss about coal and now we are discussing the diesel power plant so inshallah in in the part 2 of this lecture we will discuss in more detail until uh, that uh, you are requested to please uh, follow my lectures and uh, uh, draw this diagram by your own so that you can understand how the things are getting uh, or or taking place uh, in the diesel power plant uh, thank you so much if you have any kind of question please ask me uh, text me or mail me uh, or ask in the comments i will inshallah answer your queries uh, thank you thank you so much